calibration of a CSC precision tensiometer. Part number 70535. When you need to find out if your tensiometer is performing correctly, you need to check it against a known standard or perform this calibration procedure. The procedure is the subject of this video. Our first task is to identify the key components of the tensiometer. They are, as indicated by the arrows, the dial clamp, the adjustment knob, the vernier, the torsion arm, the mirror line and arm pointer, the ring hook and the ring, the torsion arm adjustment nut, you start the process by attaching the ring to the ring hook. This will move the torsion arm down to the stop. The next step is to move the arm pointer back to the line by turning the adjustment knob clockwise until the arm pointer lines up with the mirror line. Next, loosen the dial clamp and turn the dial until the dial zero line matches the zero line on the vernier. At this point you place a small strip of paper across the ring and place a known weight on the paper. This will again pull down the torsion arm moving the pointer below the mirror line. Again using the adjustment knob Move the pointer back up to the mirror line. Now read the dial where the vernier line matches a dial line. Record the dial reading. Set up to calculate the calibration number. This is the weight put on the ring times the gravity at your location. You can get this from the National Geodetic Survey. This number is divided by two times the ring circumference. The ring circumference is printed on the ring box label. If the dial reading you recorded and the calibrated number are within 0.5 dynes of each other, you are finished. If the two numbers are farther apart, however, you will have to adjust the torsion arm. If the calculated number is greater than the dial reading, use the torsion arm adjustment nut and turn it counterclockwise. If the calculated number is lower than the dial reading, turn the adjustment nut clockwise. One full rotation is about three dynes per centimeter. Repeat this until you can bring the pointer to the line. Using the adjustment knob and the dial vernier reading is within 0.5 dynes of the calculated number. This process changes the arm length and the zero point. You now must re-zero the tensiometer and redo the calibration steps. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has been helpful.